Senator 37, Congressman Jim Bridenstine. Well, one of the reasons that to thank you for come, uh, calling in this morning, the okay. extraordinary uh, situation where the, in a Republican primary, a sitting congressman endorses someone, that's usually somewhat uh, extraordinary. But you did that last week where you, of course, uh, endorsed uh, former state senator and, and former uh, colonel, a uh, retired colonel, Steve Russell, in the District 5 Congressional Republican primary. The question I've got to ask this morning, Congressman, is why before, uh, before the runoff? Well, here's the thing. Our, our country, as you are aware, is in peril. Uh, we don't need to, to, you know, be in despair, but we have major challenges that we have to deal with. And some of those challenges are domestic. And that is, you know, when, when you talk about the domestic challenges our country faces, I think both candidates are up to the challenge. Uh, however, uh, when it comes to the challenges we have from abroad, uh, as, a, as a former Navy pilot myself and somebody who fought in both Iraq and Afghanistan, those of us who have served, especially in Iraq, and have seen what this president has done to the security situation there, um, we, we have major issues right now. And this, this uh, rose to the level, in my opinion, where I thought it was appropriate for me to weigh in on behalf of somebody who I believe um, is capable of carrying out um, national security policy from a congressional level based on his experience, and that person is Steve Russell. We have a commander-in-chief um, that is dismantling our armed services, who is damaging our prestige in the world as well as our alliances. Um, he is damaging our national security and our sovereignty, not only for himself as commander-in-chief, but also constraining future options of commanders in chief uh, yet to be decided uh, in the future. And, and, and what we have to do now is we have to have people in Congress that have the ability to limit the damage this president can do to our national security apparatus. And when I surveyed the candidates in this race, 